All right, chat. The man, the myth, the legend is back. Yo, shout out to you. Tear Zoo, man. Shout out to you, man. And let me know, by the way, okay? Let me know if you stumble across any of, you know, any of my reactions. If you're the type of guy who doesn't like reactions because I feel like Pharrell in 07 on my shoes, ice cream, ice star, stop him out, it's a man down. Maybe Milo custom PC getting fanned out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
like, what the fuck are these, man? I keep seeing new bugs every fucking video I watch. That are used for the mobility perks alone, others equip pincher-type claws called Kile that can inflict massive crushing damage. The size of Kile relative to the user's body varies between build classes, but they can be used in combat even on the smaller end due to the additional perk of being able to immobilize opponents. Mm. Crustacean builds like crabs and lobsters can use claws to crush or dismember prey, a devastating attack if it connects, though it can be fairly easily dodged by more mobile players. I appreciate you, man. Scorpions can use their claws to inflict knockback or as a physical barrier to keep an enemy away from their vitals, but they also enable them to use an extremely powerful grappling combination move. While an enemy is immobilized in their mm. claws, scorpions use their flexible stingers to inflict massive piercing. I mean, as a little fly, whatever the hell you were, why are you walking towards a scorpion that size? And venom damage. This attack is more effective than crushing alone, but the trade-off between physical power and venom potency means that some scorpions are still weak against builds that can deflect or withstand their stings. Mm. Also, uh, just because like I was already thinking about it, um, Amber's lawyer literally tried to come at that dude for his 15, like calling him, you, this is your chance for your 15 minutes of fame, but then went and did a fucking interview on national TV afterwards. I just thought that was funny as fuck. Instead Meanwhile, the people who actually won want to stay discreet and out the way. I'm just saying, shit's crazy to me, man. You left me in the dumpster, but I came back. It's all good, father. Full score. Jesus. Instead of modifying entire limbs into crushing pinchers, many tetrapod builds can equip individual claws to each digit and then use them to inflict piercing or slashing damage. Reptile and mammal builds that spec into claws what is that? usually equip them to all four limbs, using them for combat as well as their broad array of secondary functions. Tetrapod builds in earlier expansions experimented with a variety of claw specializations with Therizinosaurus dumping the most of Ew, after watching Prehistoric, this shit is ass. ...points into the trade Ugh. of any build in history. These giant curved claws were primarily used to hook and pull vegetation in order to access the best loot, but they served the secondary function of being used to attack or intimidate predators in a similar strategy to that of anteaters in the current meta. Megatherium that is another is example of a build that went all in on claws, but theirs were specialized to withstand the impacts of intense digging and thus were much more powerful in combat as a result. <laughs> Although Megatherium were large Rain, enough bro. to repel most enemies using intimidation alone, succeeding in a meta where Smilodon were the apex predators meant that their claws needed to be ready for serious action when necessary. While Thenozerosaurus and Megatherium are no longer playable builds, the basic tetrapod claw specializations that they pioneered are still influential in today's meta. Mm. While some mammal variants spec into nails or hooves instead, Claws are still an extremely common limb equipment choice and are used for everything from climbing and foraging to attacking enemies. Yep. Digging is a common specialization for mammal players, with builds like the armadillo and anteater oh God, leveraging their claws chat, to access man. hard to reach resources. At the extreme end of this ability, moles use their long, thick claws and sensory modifications to complete their entire playthroughs in subterranean maps, where they can farm out invertebrate players for XP. Other mammal builds spec into lighter claws to preserve dexterity and use them more in a generalist fashion. Yo, then they look this like Albert Einstein. They can only inflict minor scratch damage in combat situations. The cloven hoof. Yo, are wax at wax museums? Are is that supposed to represent their actual size as well? Hooves of even toed ungulate builds like pigs and deer. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, that nigga Martin Luther King short as a bitch. Here, technically, are claws as well which add cutting edges to already powerful limbs and increase the damage inflicted by kicks. Mammals in the Carnivora faction all have claws, but only some are fully dependent on them to take down enemies. Felids have extremely sharp claws that retract when not in use, conserving their durability and allowing them to move silently when preparing to ambush an opponent. These claws provide additional traction and therefore movement speed when extended, but more importantly, they Jesus. greatly increase both the damage and grappling ah, capability of these felids. See, look at the- This ah. grappling can be used in a deadly combination where claws- This is for educational purposes. ...mobilize an opponent so the user can safely inflict lethal bite damage. Goddamn! They're also remarkably effective for climbing, which opens up access to areas of the map that other carnivore builds can't reach. With some of the best speed and power stats in the game, Felids are absolute killing machines that use claws to decimate bird and mammal player bases. For builds which lack the ability to retract their claws, 
the repeated contact with the ground causes them to become dull and less useful for climbing or combat, but they do still provide solid mobility bonuses. Since bird forelimbs are modified into wings, most avian builds can only equip functional claws to their feet. Hoatzins. Yo, did y'all see the video of some idiot that put his finger in a tiger or in a lion cage? And the lion got a grip of his finger and ripped it off to, to and you see the tendon as well. I was like, oh my God, you're fucking stupid, bro. Why would you do that shit? Have the unique ability to equip claws to their forelimbs that are used for climbing. But this ability is shed at higher levels in favor of flight, and all other birds are restricted to hind limb claws only. While this may seem like a limitation, <laughs> members of the raptor faction use their claws and wings raptor, in conjunction Jurassic World, to carry out Friday. some of the deadliest ambush attacks in the game. Their absolutely busted sensory abilities and mobility stats allow them to attack before an opponent can even detect their presence, impaling them with sharp talons before they have time to react and counterattack. What However, the? raptor legs are relatively short and their wings can't deal much damage in their own right, which limits their ability to counterattack when an enemy launches an attack on the ground or from behind. In a major departure from the typical Ugh. avian playstyle, some birds dump evolution points into their legs and feet at the expense of their flight ability. This strategy hinges on having a high enough run speed to evade most enemies, and enough power in their legs to disembowel enemies with dagger-like claws when challenged. Both types of avian builds can be viable against certain opponents, but their inability to inflict much damage with their wings leaves them vulnerable to rush Best down flight. and more powerful builds, Bruh, and underscores the benefits alone. of having claws equipped That's to all snake. four limbs. Claws are an excellent weapon choice for players with the flexibility and limb lengths needed to maximize their threat range. But even on less mobile builds, they're still well worth the investment. These versatile weapons are at their best when they're used either as a safe, non-committal attack to chip away at an opponent, or Can I take a Falcon in a 1v1? Why would I even try that? Or as part of a grappling combination move that anchors an opponent in place while additional damage is inflicted by either teeth or stingers. As the top tier claw users, you are a whole mammoth. Like use your trunk or something. Are man. definitely OP, as they have pretty much the perfect setup to maximize the utility of their highly specialized claws. So don't expect to immediately skyrocket up the tier list the moment you spec into the claws trait, as the feeling class may be a bit of an outlier. However, claws are still a valuable addition to what? almost any build that can equip them, and cost very little in terms of evolution points, considering how many new options and strategies they can add to a character. On the subject of claws, you may have noticed that I didn't discuss one of the game's most famous claws yeah. in this video. On that note, I have a bit of an announcement. I've been secretly working on something big. My own 3D animation studio. I want to make one of the best educational wildlife shows ever, and finally answer the types of questions that I constantly get asked. Who would win in a fight between... Oh! Well, I mean, take your pick. I would So watch far, it. I've been limited in what I've been able to show on this channel, since many animals never meet, and are separated by either distance or time. Through the magic of 3D animation, I want to bring these confrontations to life for all of you to witness. The first episode will pit one of history's most lethal claws against one of prehistory's most deadly fangs. I've been working super hard, and although the first episode isn't quite ready, it'll be premiering on Nebula soon, and I don't want you to miss it. Many of you know by now that Tears has been a longtime partner of Nebula, oh! a creator-owned streaming service whose mission is to empower creators to make high-budget content that I really they hope couldn't can do otherwise. It. I really well, hope can do it. Well, I'm no exception, and I'm really shooting for the moon here. So please, check out the sponsor of today's video, the Nebula Curiosity Stream Bundle. Curiosity Stream has thousands of amazing non-fiction titles on there already for you to check out while I put the final touches on this show, including personal favorites of mine like Out of the Cradle and Amazing Dino World. And on the Nebula side of things, Real Life Lore's Modern Conflict series and Real Engineering's Battle of Britain series are must-watches. The bundle is only $14.79 a year, already one of the best deals in streaming, and that's before you add on the high-budget 3D show that I'm launching. So I hope you like it, and thanks for watching. I really hope he can do it, man. I can do the voice acting for the for the Velociraptors, man.
You know what my favorite is? My favorite is the screech. I have started a gym clothing company that is support mental health. <laughs> One pound from every purchase goes to charity. Due to mental health... Follow me. Yeah? Come on now. Zesty. <laughs> I promise you it's not what it is. I'm not doing what you think I'm doing, man. Stupid ass boy. Bruh. Still no movie. Still no Jurassic Park, Jurassic World movie has topped this, like, topped this movie. I'm sorry. You, you just, you gotta give it up. Give it up. But they bought back the OGs for this movie, so I'm excited. I'm so excited for this new Jurassic World. I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> they really got a velociraptor slipping on ice, man. Man, I, I wish I was a Velociraptor, man. I wish I was a Velociraptor, man. I'd be out there going crazy, bro. J-Man, I watched one clip, bro. I watched one clip. Move up, move up, move up. I watched one fucking clip, dude. And you're already like, yo, hey, hey, check this out, bro. Hey, did you see this? Check this out. Check, yo, check that out. What is this, man? Poor kid discovers teleportation, becomes rich looting vault. Wait. Uh, poor kid discovers teleportation, become rich looting vaults and traveling the world. Uh, I feel like I've heard of that. I feel like I heard of that movie before. Bro, that one movie with the clone? That shit was really good. I'm not gonna lie, that shit was really good. Okay, look, we'll, we'll check this out. <laughs> 